Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Preston here, and welcome back to Prisons episode number 14. Guys, the amount of support we got on the previous episode was crazy. You guys loved the secret pumpkin farming episode. Thank you all so much for all the support and craziness that we got on it. I just, I appreciate it so very much. It's just, it's, it brings a bit of a tear to my eye, and I just, I can't say thank you guys enough. So, if you guys are enjoying the episodes and the series and whatnot, definitely leave a like down below. Let's go for 10,000 likes on this episode as well. I got something special in store for you guys for episode 15, so don't you guys worry. And as always, if you guys are liking the server, definitely go check it out. It's a lot of fun to play on, and then you can check out the shop link down below in the description as well. So, anyways, without further ado, do um, further ado further ado man I forgot I said it wrong and I just corrected myself now look at this jump who yeah getting back to my jail cell in style with swag and now for some reason my pumpkins decided to do this I don't know why my pumpkins are so <laughs> retarded man like at least I get the seeds back but come on like the amount of time that's being wasted right now is just like mind-blowing but anyways I told you guys in the last episode I wanted to prank the black market a little bit so is what we're gonna be doing is um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of stuff here okay a little bit of stuff which I think is gonna be a lot of fun so remember how the server owner accidentally gave me game mode one and then forgot to take out the game mode well let's just say we're gonna abuse that a little bit in this episode not not too bad but in a good kind of way I mean, it's actually, it's good, because it's good for the people. I'm like, I'm like Robin Hood. I steal from the rich, aka the server owner, and I give to the poor. So, that's what we're going to be doing this episode. But, first, before I do any of that, I need to go back to my plots. Plots home. And then we need to, uh, first of all, we can actually get rid of these seeds and this dirt for now. And we need to get, what is it, what is it we need? We don't need a bow. Um, we don't need any of the- we got, man, we got a lot of food, like, we- we don't even need food with a slash feed command, it's so overpoweredly good, it's filled with goodness, that's why being a donator is awesome, because you get all that kind of goodness. Um, oh, wow, I got all these poison- where do these come from? I don't ever remember getting all these poison, uh, splash potions and all this stuff like that, and then I've still got this guy's entire chest of good potions. Like, listen- this is going to go towards the army that we're building in order to uh, overthrow the guards and whatnot and the server owner in future episodes. Hopefully by episode 20, we'll have what it takes to get the, uh, the prison riot started. So I'm going to add a little bit of flame to that or a little bit of fuel to the fire that is the, uh, the guard versus inmate riot because um, you guys are going to see why. You're, you're going to see why. So this is going to also be a way for me to kind of make a little bit of extra change too. So it's so unlegit, but so like LOL at the same time. So... First of all, we need to make a bu oh, whoops, wrong way to make chests. We need to make a bunch of chests, and then I'll show you guys what the, the evil plan is, the scheme that we're doing. Okay, so five chests should be enough. Let's go warp to Black Market, and I think actually some of my, I extended some of my stuff um, just so I wouldn't lose the spot. So let me make sure that I've still got my stuff. Uh, okay, cool, cool. It's still here because I've been like getting on uh, repeatedly and extending it just so I don't, uh, you know, lose it and stuff like that. So, I still can't believe this guy. He's such a liar. He is, like, <laughs> biggest liar pants ever. Now, I think I own this one, too. I'm not sure. I know I own this one for sure. So, we need to get our sign. Okay, we got our signs back. Good. So, what we're gonna do is we're... <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm such a scum mode. Alright, I'm gonna game mode one. No, no, nobody knows I'm game moding. We're just gonna get a little bit of these, okay? Just, just a little bit. We're gonna get... Let's see, how much of these do you want? We want, um, because this is for the rebellion, basically. And we want to get ourselves some diamond swords, all right? And I say we sell diamond swords for, like, typically, how much does diamond go for? Let's, let's go in here and see. Diamond sell for, looks like you can buy 10 diamonds for, t okay, that's not bad at all. This guy sells it at a fair price. So $4,200, um, that means it comes out to, like, what? $420 a diamond. Well, that's pretty good that you can buy it for. So why don't we put diamond swords in here? Now, people are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I'm actually being completely sincere here. So diamond swords, we need to poop out a bunch of these suckers. Like, pew, 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 pew. like and this is why it's going to help the rebellion, because everybody's going to have all these awesome, delicious diamond swords. And yeah, look at this. Boom. Oh, yes. Okay. I got, I, oh, perfect. Alright, game mode zero, and then now look at this, I've got a full inventory of diamond swords right now, and this is why we're helping out the resistance, because we're getting all these diamond swords, and we're going to put in here, we're going to do um, TV and our frags, and then, let's see, we're going to sell just one, yeah, one, 
And then, how much, how much do we want to sell for? We're sell it for, let's just literally sell it for $100 each. Um, well, I guess like, what, 500 bucks each is pretty cheap for a diamond sword, I would say. So 500, and then the item is diamond sword. And then, oh, I forgot to put buy, so they can, they can, oh, B, it's this way. B, no, 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 it's, okay, B, 500. And then, boom, shop successfully created, boys. And let's put all these diamond swords in here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then, let's see, what else can we put inside there that's going to be really... Oh, so this thing could fit, actually, let's see, one, two, and then... Let's see, how much is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine. So it's going to be fit, too. So you can fit 11 more. So let's get 11 more swords going on here. I want to fill this thing up to the brim, man, because, like, I don't care about the money, because 500 bucks each is a lot. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. The whole point of this four is to supply... The rebellion. I'm hoping people out there in the rebellion buy all these swords and then use it to kill guards. That's what I want them to do. So that is a full thing. All right, let's shut up, train. Shut up. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. It's so loud. It's it's actually ridiculously loud. Shh. Freaking train, man. Shut up. Oh my god. Okay, what else can? I apologize guys. I don't know what trains are doing out like at freaking midnight my time, but they're out there everywhere and they're freaking trolling us. So what other kind of gear can we put in the shop to sell that will help the rebellion strive and become stronger? I feel like cactuses are needed, but I then again think that that might be uh I, I don't know. It's just it's not Oh, no anvils. Well, actually anvils. Hmm. Anvils are good cuz you can combine weapons and get awesome stuff on your show. No, it's got to be more direct than that, you know what I mean? <gasps> bows. Oh my god, I could sell bows. Oh my gosh, I could do this, guys. I mean, because like, like I said, I don't care about like the money at all. I just want to get, let's just do this. Um, okay, slash TV and frags, one. And then, oh, this is so good. Uh, you could buy, let's say, I don't know how much bows go for. Bows probably go for cheap, so let's just say 100 bucks each. And then, bow. And that should work. Yes! Okay. Now we just gotta fill the sucker up with like an intense amount of bows. So can we just go into? Oh, we can't go into game mode here, can we? Um, okay, so bow. Let's just get a bunch of these out. Come on, we need lots of bows, lots, lots and lots and lots of them. Cause we want we want to throw it. Wait, can you just? Oh, that definitely did not work. We need to sell as many bows as we can to the rebellion. Now, hopefully, they're smart enough to be able to go and get their own feathers. If not, it's gonna be kind of unfortunate. But I think the rebellion is pretty smart. They'll they'll be able to do it. No problem. Let's game mode zero, and then, oh yes, just get all these bows in here, look at this. Come on, oh please, oh I'm gonna, I'll be a couple short, ah, oh four short man. Okay, let's see, now hopefully these guys buy these suckers, and then if they, if they don't, that's not a big deal, come on, and there we go, that's the magic number, four bows, wait, oh okay, yeah, here we go, okay, so now I'm hoping these guys buy these. And I know it's not like intense trolling or anything like that, but I just want to give the Rebellion a little bit of a, a pickup, man. And right now, they can buy some cheap diamond swords and some cheap bows, and they know that they're going to be supplying the Rebellion. Because look, Tibbin of Frags, man, says right there, freaking TBNR Frags, they know that I'm giving them a good deal so that they can help fight uh, the guards and, and fight, fight the power with me. If, you, if, if I do say so myself. So, now that I'm done being a huge troll and a big jerk to everybody, uh, or all the admins on the server, let's go to do slash uh, plot home. And we need to do some, actually I should probably just do home. But we need to do some mining. Um, so let's go over here, let's scoop up our like really good pickaxe. And let's go warp to the VIP mines. Because we haven't been to VIP in so long. And I haven't done mining. I feel like, you know, mining is a giant prison staple. And I haven't done that at all, so I feel kind of bad. Um, but let, let's go check our money too. Money, we're at si okay, sixty or six hundred thousand. Not too bad. Hmm. But one thing there is is I have yet to find diamond legitimately in prisons, and that makes me <laughs> incredibly upset. And it's 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 really late at night when I'm on the server, so nobody should be on here right now. So I should have ah. Oh, speak of no. <gasps> Oh my god, speak of the devil, guys, we got a first diamond! Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Yeah, and then we can use the super breaker and just look at this. Oh my god, super breaker is. This is why MCMMO levels are uh, overpowered and, and awesome at the same time. And listen, the rebellion are gonna need golden apples, man. The rebellion don't use notch apples because notch apples are OP 
and just stupid. Like nobody likes notch apples. So let's just go down here and let's try to get let's try to get like full diamond armor would be nice. Cause I don't I feel so bad using the full armor that I got from the um the kit that I bought, which is uh, obsidian kit, even though or bedrock kit, because it comes with like really good enchanted diamond armor. But I feel like such a scumbag using it, so I feel like I should at least try to craft my own my own armor, or at least like you know scavenge and and, and find some of my own diamonds, which shouldn't be too difficult. I can't believe that diamond was just sticking out there like just fresh and ripe for the picking, man. That was awesome. That was a good moment for me, because I haven't had that happen. I haven't had something cool like that happen in a long time in prisons. And then, I, oh, there's no diamonds on the... You know, I think gold is worth scooping up here on the surface. Gold seems to be worth, like, a pretty fair amount of money. So, I'm going to get some gold. Uh, but it, it, iron, at this point in time, is just... Pfft, ugh, iron is useless. We don't, need to, we don't need to mess around with that. And I'm curious, what does this do? M MCMO repair anvil. R wait, right-click confirm, left-click to... Oh, that repairs my thing, right? So, what if I left-click confirm? Well, huh. Okay, right-click again to confirm repair. Left click to cancel. Huh. So I, it's, um, oh, you must be level 50 to repair. <gasps> oh, okay. So to get my anvil levels up more, I just have to become, how do you become, oh, to repair diamond pick. Uh, so I think you have to start by uh, repairing like your wooden pickaxe and stuff like that before you can level anything else. So I like that. That's why MCMO levels are so cool because they're really unique and a lot of fun to do. And I know how we said we wanted to find 10 diamonds, but that just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Like, we don't see no diamonds. I will go all the way to the bottom of this mine and probably still find no more diamonds. Yeah, like, like so somebody's been in this mine. Oh, yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> never mind, never mind. I've been in this mine. I, I thought somebody else was here or something like that. And now I can't even see any. <gasps> diamond at the bottom. GG, diamond. Okay, you guys probably can't see anything. Yeah, I feel really bad. Oh, yeah, there we go, glowstone. The blind shall now see in the name of Jesus. Okay, let's go. Come on, we, I want the super breaker ability to come off cooldown faster. It's honestly got such a long cooldown, it drives me nuts. And I'm, I'm kind of trying to do a bit of a strip mining here, because I want to find all the diamonds that we can just before this mine, because this mine will reset, I think, a little bit soon. And that's the great thing about VIP mines, is that they have a little bit more percentage of a chance. Um, they have more ores in them, so basically more coal ore, more diamond ore, more gold, more, more everything, which is really, really useful. We need to find the other glowstone. I think it's this way some way. Yeah, it's like, it's like right, is that bedrock? Oh, oh okay, there it is, there it is. Now, I, there's probably a limited amount of diamond per, like, you know, one of these uh, resets in the mine, so I, I've only gotten two which really sucks. Like, man, I really hope our pumpkin farm is going strong. Because right now, we need that so bad. <gasps> Third diamond, boys. Third diamond. We are diamond motherfucking hunters. Now, I'm trying to think. Is there any other way that I control the black market with my game mode ability? That's not ridiculously unfair, but just kind of funny and just kind of like a kick in the butt to the guards and to the server owner. If there's anything like that that you guys can think of, leave me down below in the comments and I will so, so do it. You guys know me. I'm a good lava mob who just likes to have fun. And if that means a little bit of trolling and pranking is involved, then so be it. I was taught by the best, the very best Bodil 40 himself. I mean, when he freaking pranked me with that scare prank, I flipped out so hard. That was the scariest. That was one of the scariest. That's probably one of the scariest moments of my life. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. That was horrifying. I was so scared when that happened. I, I screamed like a little girl. I felt so bad for you guys. I screamed like a little girl. I was. I even my own mom watched it. She was like, "Wow, Preston. I had no idea you could scream like that." I felt so embarrassed. Even my mom said I could. I just it embarrassed me in front of my mom. But anyways, that being said, I'm a good pranker. Not, not, I'm not a good scare, but I'm a good... <gasps> okay, diamond, 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 diamond. Oh, you're not going to find the diamond. I'm going to find diamond. Yeah, that's right. You go. You look for the diamond. You're not going to find it because I'm going to find it. Where's diamond at? That's on diamond? Come on, diamond. It's here somewhere. Come on, Pearson. Okay, here we go. We're going down, guys. We're going to get down here. And then Super Breaker. Super Breaker? Super Breaker? Oh, Super Breaker! Who bring everything? Come on! Yeah, we found the diamond! Oh, we have the lucky pickaxe on, so we've got six diamond right now. Four more. <sighs> Four more, guys. We can do it. That's the great thing about having this uh, this uh, pickaxe, because it's got some... Um, what is it? It's got Fortune 3 on it, I think? Yeah. Oh, Fortune 3 is so good. <sighs> if only we could get these kind of pickaxes in battle, though, man. Could you imagine, like, a Fortune 3 
obsidian, or not obsidian pickaxe, but like a fortune 3 iron pickaxe would be so good. And give it a fortune 1 or 2 would be amazing. We could use that and get so many extra resources out of it. Or so many extra diamonds, so to say. It's kind of a shame that gold doesn't pop in, like, you know, uh, di <gasps> another- Oh, this guy's trying to- Look at this! His name is the Farting Cactus! Are you kidding me? Listen, man, if this guy's not a fan of me, I don't know who is, because- Oh, we got ten diamonds. Yeah, boy, we got it, got it, good. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I think we basically, like, cleaned this mine out for the diamonds already. We found two of them. I for I totally forgot about my fortune pickaxe, because I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get the diamond for you guys, but now, not even worried, not even the slightest bit. Easy mode right now. We got, look at the strip mining we got going on. You just look up, and then every other one just mine like this, and there's guaranteed you're going to find some diamond. Or, or at least some good ores. I mean, come on. We got to find one more diamond. I'll be, I'll be satisfied. Come on. I know there's another diamond just chilling around here. I don't know where it's at, but it's here somewhere. Oh, come on. It's, it's, it's this way somewhere. How about... Oh, this is where the ladder is. Oh, it's, no, it's not this way. Okay, cool. I really don't want this guy, even though this guy's got such a cool name, I don't want him to find my diamond, man. I'm a bit of a diamond thief when it comes to it. I will admit it, I like my dim and diamonds. And, I uh, can't find my dim and diamonds. He's gonna find it before me, man. Ah, uh, if he finds my diamond before me, I'm gonna be sad. I'm on, diamond. You're here somewhere. I can't see anything. Okay, that's it. We need, oh, no, he's here. Guys, he's gonna take it. Oh, my God, I can't let him take it. Oh, there's another person in here, too. Oh, God, come on, don't find that diamond. I need, I need it, I need it. It's here somewhere, guys. Oh, my God. The light just blinded me. It freaked me out. Come on. Diamond. Come on. Where's it at? Ah, I know you're here somewhere. The crying Preston. Uh, you know what? I think we cleaned this mine, like, fresh out of their diamonds. I don't think any more are going to spawn in here, which is cool. Which is cool. Um, just in case. No, no, no. Guys, we cleaned it out. We cleaned it out. Yep. That good feeling when you completely clean a di like a mine out and you get so many MCMMO levels for your mining. Oh, look at that. We tore this mine a new one. So we can use this to build some, this clay, because we got so much of it. And we got we got almost a stack of iron ore, and then where's our gold ore? Almost a stack. I'm, I'm proud of that. Like, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. So before we get off this episode, though, I want to go back to the, um, to the black market. <laughs> Oh god, these hiccups are killing me right now. I want to go to the black market and see if anybody saw any of our cool stuff. Please tell me you guys saw it. Please tell me some of it sold. Oh, nobody? Nobody bought. Come on, guys. Come on. Slash property. We need to extend some of this property. Slash property list. And then we want to slash property extend BM S41. Okay, so property extend BM S41. And then, boom, shakala. Okay, so hopefully I wake up, and then all these are sold. Because if they're not, I'm going to be super sad. But I really thought I could do something funnier. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, man. I think I know what I could do. Okay, that's it. We got. We need signs. Listen. We, we, need, we, need, to, uh, we need to put up a sign, like, right, right here. All right. Join the rebellion. Join the rebels. Led by the one, led by the only TBNR frags. Join today. <laughs> People will be like, what the heck is going on? Join, <laughs> join the rebels. I'm just going to type this in. Rebels. Okay, led by the only TBNR frags. Join. T <laughs> People can be like, what the crap is this guy doing? I just got all these signs up here. Join the rebels. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I want people to read this sign. If it wasn't so late at night, I feel like a lot more people would see this sign and just laugh their absolute butts off. But uh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's going to be a future expansion. That is going to be so cool. That's like actually a whole other side of the black market. But, um, alright guys, that is the end of this prison episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys are looking forward to a little bit of a special episode I got planned for episode 15. If you guys are enjoying prison, slap that like button down below, and then make sure to uh, check out the server IP down below in the description and whatnot. Have a wonderful day, guys, and uh, I'll catch you guys in future episodes and whatnot. Goodbye, everybody.